Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Ari. I'm Aris. And we are the Hardware Busters. This is the first video shooting that we do in our new... Brand new studio. Yes. Yeah. And we're definitely going to do a video about it because it's And amazing. we're very excited to have a new studio, right? And to have something unique yeah. from a brand that has never launched... Uh, Similar project so far. Yes. We know EVJ from uh, GPUs, from mainboards, but... And many years back, like, I think EVJ is in this field uh, many, many 20 years. years, something? Many, many yeah, years. Yeah, okay. So, it's the first time we see a sound card from those guys, right? Yes. And what a sound card? And do One that we have... costs 250 bucks. And it made quite a trip. We have to mention that this thing came with us from... CES. Yes. Yeah, it traveled along with us for... Many, 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 many months. <laughs> <laughs> so, for elite members, this is 200 bucks. Still damn expensive. Mm -hmm. So, does it worth it? Yeah, but you what, were very... What do you say? You were very excited to get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always excited to get new stuff. Hardware. And was especially high-quality stuff like this. Was it high quality? Yeah, it uses top-notch components. It's made by a company called Audio Note. From UK. From UK. I didn't know those guys. Yeah, because, because you I'm don't deal with audio. So. Audio so much, yeah. But EVJ says that they are truly professionals into this stuff. And I think it's they, they go to high-end stuff. Uh, this card goes up to 384 kilohertz. With 32 bits in line in, the microphone in, it's restricted, kind of restricted to 192 kilohertz with 24 bits uh, sample age. Uh, RGB lighting, of course, uh -huh. 10 different modes. Uh, this card uses a SATA connector in order to have more power. The major features of yeah, this that card, was about to ask uh, you. the switchable. Mm -hmm. Operational amplifiers mm -hmm. for headphone, circuit, and line out. This is uh, something that uh, most enthusiast users ask for to be okay. able to switch out those amplifiers. So, this is not for entry level or. Come on, who, uh, who from entry level will give 250 this bucks is exactly to get an out? I told God. Him the yeah. first time I saw it. Like, yeah. okay, let's, let's listen to YouTube. And he was like, yeah, you will what? take such a card to listen to YouTube or play a game. I... Yeah, that, that, that's crazy for me. Well, okay. So Unless you have huge money, okay, you don't know how to spend them. And beware, in order to fully uh, exploit the yes. features of this yeah. card, yeah. you need the high-end headphones. Yeah. Or high-end sure. system. I think we, we used from Sony. Yeah, I used uh, some Sony headphones, but they're not so high-end. They cost around it, 300 bucks. They do the job. Yeah. So this card is going to be used by users who who would wear a headphone or it's going to be like... I, I believe that uh, given that users that have high-end systems, audio systems don't use them on any PC, they have a home theater, a proper amplifier, so, so it's not going to be headphones? Most likely headphones. Oh, most likely headphones. Yeah, I think most likely oh, headphones. Okay, yeah. from what I heard, you won't be able to listen to anybody who's talking to you or... No, 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 let me put it else. You didn't listen to anybody before. Before ah, you were come on, no. so, Well, actually, you, do, you will not want to hear somebody else because they have an amazing sound from what I heard. Yeah, the sound was pretty cool, I yeah, can say. Yeah, it was like... The problem is that I need better headphones. I believe. Who makes headphones? Let's ask for headphones then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so uh, let's unbox it and say more. The box is um, the only thing uh, that I... Who cares about the box? Uh, uh, I like the, the thing that they did here with the curbs yeah, and stuff. Yeah, whatever. Let's yeah. open it again. Men and women, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, okay. It's it, a it provides box. good protection yes. since we traveled so many miles with it, and it was in a baggage that it was we baggage, delivered yes, yes. to the airline. Oh, and really? Thankfully, in every way? Yeah. Okay. And thankfully, it wasn't lost. <laughs> lost or damaged. So, this is the card. Uh, the cool thing about it it's this metallic cover. This protects from EMI. Mm. In audio cards or sound cards, if you prefer this term, 
uh, major issue can be electromagnetic interference. So now I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, How can okay. you judge? I mean, literally. Yeah. How is a, a sound card good? I mean, what kind of test did you do? Uh, for starters, are there any kind of tests? That yeah, actually... there are some tests, but not uh, anybody can do them because you need equipment. So, uh, I simulated the headphones. Okay, this cat can take headphones from 16 uh, ohms to 600 ohms. Mm -hmm. So, I made a resistor set of uh, 16 ohms. I connected to the wow. headphone pole. Yeah. Uh, in parallel, I connected uh, an oscilloscope. An oscilloscope? Yeah. Okay. Uh, went full load on the cat and checked on the waveform. Ah, I also applied the 1 kilohertz signal to it. It sounds like you made it a PSU testing. <laughs> uh, wow. Not exactly, but I measured the output of the cut in order to see, you know, if... Uh, no, I mean, you really gave it a hard try yeah, to test it. If, if uh, in 100% in volume, mm -hmm. you see, that, you know, the sine wave goes like this. Mm -hmm. We will make it in a graph for you. <laughs> so, if you, like see, this. if you see the peaks, Chopped. Yep. This means that uh, the audio amplifier doesn't do a good job. Okay. In 100%, you have to see a perfect sine wave. You did quite a study. Yeah. Mm. I have done this before, you know. Yeah, so. yes. uh, the second most important test for those cuts uh, is to check for EMI. Of course, not everyone has an EMI receiver. Or to be more, speci more specific, a signal analyzer. Mm -hmm. So That we do have. Yeah, I happen to have two of those, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and a set of probes. Yeah. Uh, so, I checked for EMI noise with the cover on, on, top. on top, yeah. Mm -hmm. And without and, it. And then I removed it, yeah, mm -hmm. in order to check the difference. Because you have to check the difference if this thing actually does a job or it's oh, only here to say if it's in your audio. For decoration yeah. purposes. Uh, and I have to tell you that it truly makes a difference. Really? Yeah, it does make a difference. And you don't want any EMI noise in an audio card because it can pass into the circuits mm -hmm. and you will hear it, especially in the... Yeah, like the humming? Yeah, that's humming. Ah, okay. yeah. Humming, some pinking noises, mm -hmm. some spikes. No, I didn't hear any anything like that when yeah. you uh, gave it to me to try it. Mm. Nothing. It was literally like... She has a much better set of ears. Yeah, I'm kind she, of She's a, more <laughs> well I, equipped I, I, than me. I am kind of a musician, but the thing is kind that... Of. Kind okay. of. Kind of, yeah. So, um, the thing is that you're actually feeling like you were in the opera because we kind of played some... And also, since mm. I can do this, I also took some power measurements with the powernetic system. Okay. Yeah, about the noise levels and stuff. No. No? Power consumption. Oh, power consumption! How, how many watts this thing needs to operate. And it's as, really important. As it's not so important because uh, it doesn't consume a lot, to be frank. Oh! Yeah. Well, that's even more important uh, for environmentalists as and well. And typically, for an audio amplifier, the input power is steady. It doesn't change regardless of the noise output mm -hmm. that you select. Mm -hmm. That's typical for amplifiers, at least the ones that I have tested so far. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the, the, the main question that a user will ask is, yeah. uh, does it make a difference? From my point of view, because you gave it to me to try it in yeah. two systems, I think that this mixes the sounds more properly so that you have... You are into the scene. Yes! It was actually like, you know what? When you 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 uh, let me hear the two cellos playing, I I don't I don't remember which part was it. I have the tiger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I almost cried. Amazing. Yes, it was like you were literally being there. Yeah, it does it does a very good job. I have to say that, and uh, I like the results that I got from my testing as well. And we have to mention the software. Although I did find some harmonics. Mm hmm on the oscilloscope, mm -hmm. but uh, okay, nothing is perfect. Of course. And, uh, it's the first try, come on. No, it's very good. Uh, the harmonics I found, it might be due to some EMI noise from the cables that I used. Mm -hmm. We have to mention the software. I uh, the, software, to... the software is yeah. very plain mm -hmm. and it needs work because uh, from the start it doesn't recognize the line in 
and uh, this PDF pods, mm-hmm. so it can, it's kind of buggy, but, but, but if VJ says that they will soon release new versions of it, and given the experience that those guys have in building software and stuff like that, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that they will fix all issues. But uh, yeah, it needs work. Yes, however, it works. Okay, it works. It, it, supports, it, works, it supports to work. It okay. works like, okay, no, what I mean is I've tested headphones before and yeah. I, I have used software mm. interfaces and it was kind of, uh, so is there a difference I like now? I like the plain interface that this software No, I'm not has. talking about the plain interface. I mean, like, when you were literally changing the uh, scene, you could actually yeah. hear the differences. I, so you will pay 250 bucks for I it. told you, yes. Oh, you have an elite member in VJ and you're handing this for me. I got it for free, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that comes. But me. it actually works. I mean, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I like uh, it. Uh, I would like to see less harmonics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as a scientist, uh, I would like to see less harmonics. Well, uh, we would like to thank VGA for providing this uh, sound car. It was um, really interesting to yeah. test it. And I'm expecting for an update on the software yes. in order to have the line-in option enabled in my PC at and, least. And, and for uh, sure we have to state that if you give 200... 50 bucks. Or 200. Yeah, or 200. <laughs> or yeah. 200. Um, you have to to have a good, good, no, the best. For an audio field 200 or 250 is not, is not a high amount of money. If you, had, uh, if you have a very good headset, then go for it. Yes. Definitely go for it. Yes. You that, want to that, get it. That is the one thing that I, we have to state for sure. Yeah. And we will wait for the new software updates. Of course. Thank you very much for watching us and stay tuned for much, much more. And we didn't mention this. Ah, that's nothing.